today I'm going to be revealing the grades on the three heavy first edition base set booster packs of cards that we opened up earlier this year. But if you guys missed it, let me get you caught up real quick. Got one more, or this might be it. This is it! We got an Alakazam Hollow Pool! Here we go. Oh my god, it's a nine tail! Oh my god, it's a first edition Alakazam Hollow! As you can see, we had some insane pulls out of these booster packs. But now the question is, how did they grade? Alright, we got our fancy box here, and it's filled up with graded cards all the way to the end. Okay, first we're going to start with this small stack of cards. These are Southern Islands Pokemon cards, and you guys definitely saw me open up a binder of these literally the other day. All right, all right, let's start off with our first card. We're going to the Tropical Islands right now. We have, ooh, the Vile Plume. So this is the Hollow. Again, this is Southern Islands. I literally just opened these on the channel. These aren't the ones that I opened. These are ones that I opened up around two to three years ago on the channel. They're finally back, dude. It took so long to get these. But here we go, Vile Plume. Let's see what we get. Beautiful card, Southern Islands 2001. Oh, the mid nine, not bad. I'll start off with the nine on All here. Right, so if you guys missed the video where I opened up a Southern Islands binder like very recently, make sure you check that video out. I'll link it down below in the description. It was a ton of fun. But here we go. The next card is gonna be the Meryl. Okay. All right, all right, dude. The artworks are amazing. Meryl, Magikarp, Southern Islands, right there. This is the icon. This looks pretty well centered. This is a ten. It's huge. Let's see what we get. Oh, we got a gem 10 on this one, bro. Already on the second card. No way. No. Dude, are you kidding me? Oh, and before I continue, I want to let you guys know that I'm giving away two PSA cards to two subscribers here on the channel. So make sure you enter the giveaway by number one, smashing the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. Woo, man. Okay, that's some crazy luck. That card's like between $1,000 and $2,000, I believe. Um, that's huge. Okay, let's see what else we can get. Come on, come on, come on. Keep the luck going. We got Slow King. Okay, Psyduck and Bellsprout there. Just chilling on the island. Come on. We're on the island, and everywhere we have Gem Mid-10. Okay, we got Mid-9. That's good. Honestly, 9 at the lowest is perfect with okay, me. Okay, keep the flow going. 9, 10, 9, 10. Oh, my God, dude. If we get a 10 on this, I'm going to lose my mind. If we get a 10 on this, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh, come on. It's a little off top to bottom. That's okay, though. That's okay. Let's see. Ready? Uh, uh. Oh, why on the Mew? Why'd you do this to me? What did I do to deserve that one? <laughs> dude, no. Mew is like, that's the number one in this set. Why? Why did you do this? Oh, that's why. Okay, the back is really, really off center. And yeah, the front is off a bit, but I don't think it's eight. Se eh, it's close. It could be. Eh, it could be top to bottom. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. That card and Togepi are the top cards in the set value-wise. I mean, honestly, it's a Mew from on Southern Islands. Like, you can't really beat that. Togepi's are really hard when they get into 10 as well. Oh, my God. It's the Togepi. Okay. Oh, I'm kind of Dude, this one's so hard to get a 10 on. This one and the Mew are so hard to get a 10 on. But, I mean, look. I like the artworks either way. I don't really care. I just... I, let's see. <laughs> Why, dude? No. Why? Now I'm already down, and you're just, like, kicking me while I'm down now. What the heck? Oh, man, dude. That one's so bad to grade. That's so... It doesn't matter, though. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's keep going. What's next? Are there any more hollows? There is. We have the ladybug. Okay, this one's definitely easier to grade. I would be happy this has got a 9 or a 10, honestly. It looks like it might... It might be... Is that a... Is that a oh, it was a hair. It was on the outside. I was going to say, if that was inside that thing, it ain't going anywhere. Okay, ready? Ooh, mid-9. We'll take it. We'll take... Okay, I'm, I'm fine with getting one really good 10 on that. I'm cool with that. Okay, next card up. Let's see. Do we have any more hollows? We don't. Okay, so I think the rest are going to be not hollows, but there's, like, the artworks... Are amazing on all every single one of these um so we have jigglypuff oh pulling the 10 nice second 10 on our southern islands um card obviously these ones are going to be easier to grade because they're non hollow and they don't have as much to deal with or to worry about that's off left to right though that's kind of concerning oh it's butterfree though come on butterfree bye bye butterfree hello butterfree yes boom that's that's perfect and see the out the back you can have off a bit like I think a lot actually 70 30 I think you could still have on the back don't quote me on that I can't remember exactly but yes okay butterfree in a 10 let's get all the nut hollows in a 10 come on keep the tents coming baby let's go back looks good front looks pretty decent off a little bit might be a nine and it is a mid nine but it's tender cruel and there's dragonite in the background the full southern island collection is amazing we opened a binder up recently there's neo packs in there as well this is what it's all about the artworks on these every single card every single card you can't, you can't not like the artworks on these. It's impossible. I'm sorry. Mid nine. Okay. There's not a single artwork on here that's bad. It's like I mentioned it when we opened it up. It's literally like the coolest promo item you could ever open, honestly, for old school. I can't think of anything better. I really can't. 
Exeggutor, all three of them. There's actually a whole line of them, not just three, running through the far on the beach. And it's a gem mid 10 Exeggutor, or a whole bunch of them. Okay, so here we go. War Turtle, okay, let's see, maybe War Turtle and Horsey might pull the 10, I think. I think it's 10. Oh, the gem mid 10, dude, we can put stack in these now. Imagine a full set of these in 10. That's pretty difficult, but honestly, like just having a full stack of these just graded out of like a binder is good enough for me. It's more than good enough. Um, we got Primate climbing the trees with a Venomoth in the back. I think it might pull the 9, maybe 10. I think it's a 9. Ooh, pulled the 9. Okay. All right, we're almost to our first edition base set um, cards. We opened three packs on the channel over the course of the last four months, I want to say. And they were all heavy, which means they all had a hollow inside. It was crazy. Um, but we got Lickitung. Okay, everybody's chilling in the trees. Lickitung could pull the 10. And it is a gem mid 10. Let's go. All right, I'm good at guessing these right now. I'm good at... Let's see if I can keep guessing these correctly. We have an Onyx. I think this is a 10 as well. This is going to be like a 3 just because I, I, I always jinx myself. It is a 10. Okay, we're good. And we're almost there. Three more and then we get to our first set base. See that right down on the bottom? There's a little bit of whitening, so that might actually bring it down and then the top. Uh, okay, Pidgeot is a different view. I think it's a 9. It's a nine. We got two more Southern Eyes. This is the full set, by the way. Um, does it say? Yeah, on the bottom, six out of number, out of eighteen. This is the entire set. I think this one's solid. This might. Eh, I think it might be a nine. Oh, it is a ten. It barely slipped by. It barely slipped by. And our final card in our Southern Islands PSA returns is going to be an Ivysaur. Okay, Ivysaur, bring us our last ten. And it's a gem mid 10. Oh, we got a big stack. Okay, I think these are an exact order of how they came out of the packs. I'm not 100% sure, but there's three hollows in here. There's going to be a ton of really cool um, not hollows because they're all first edition. They're all shadowless. And our first card, you can see it right there. So there was like a pack or two where we had the cards had dinged corners. And I'm so scared to, to reveal these. But I know there was at least one pack that all the cards looked pretty good. Well, let's see. The first card. Oh, of course it's going to be the Pikachu. <laughs> oh, man. And this is the really good version, too. It's the uh, Red Cheeks, which is my favorite. And, yeah, I think it's most people's favorites. The Red Cheeks Pikachu before they change it to Yellow Cheeks. First edition stamp there. It's got the thick stamp. There's no shadow. I mean, this is, like, the top of the top for opening up packs. Like, this is the craziest old school stuff you could get. And uh, I'm really nervous because, oh, dude, that thing is so bad. Oh, no. I think it's going to drop it to a six. Let's see. Oh, hold on. Hold on. That had a bend and it got an eight? We got an eight. Whoa, something weird's going on here. I don't think that's typical. Okay, okay, I looked really quickly. I think we lucked out because I think it's just considered a corner ding, even though it's kind of like, it has like a bend, I guess. It's considered a corner ding. If it was like on here on the card or something, I think that would automatically bring it down to a six. So I'm actually feeling way better about these because I was expecting this to be like a six at best. I'm, ha I'm actually happy with that. I'm actually happy with that. All right, this is, this is going to be a wild card. I don't know what to expect on the rest of these because again, you could see like, I think the packs must have fell on the ground or got crushed or something because like it's on the same corner on a lot, all the same cards in the packs that had it. But the next card, oh, it's a magic card, baby. I love Magikarp, because Magikarp turns into Gyarados, and this is going to be a 7. Oh, no. We're creeping down a little bit. We're creeping down. Don't do this to me. This is such a roller coaster of a PSA returns right now. Okay. Let's see. We get, Okay. Yep. So it has it there. It doesn't look as bad as the other one. I'm hoping for like an 8 at worst on some of these. Okay. Professor Oak, can we pull the 8? Oh, we got the 8. That one's a little bit better. Okay. A little bit better. We're moving in the right direction. But that's the thing. You don't know how the cars are going to be until you take them out of the pack and you actually see them. So something happened to these along the way. We could see right there. All right. Come on. Let's see. Can we pull another 8? Let's do it. Magmar. Okay. Let's see. We got it. Okay. It's crazy to actually get a PSA returns on first edition base set cards. All right. I don't know. I think the hollow is probably going to be coming up soon. At least the first hollow. I'm nervous. Okay. All right, all right, we got that again. That one looks a little worse. Maybe it's a seven. Ponyta. Ooh, we got the eight. That's fine. Dude, I'm actually happy with eights on these. I really thought that that was going to drop them to a six, but I didn't realize, I guess, since they consider it a corner ding. So that's cool with me. All right. We got a fighting energy. We're fighting for the grades right now. We got an eight. That's fine. Why you got to get my magic card a seven, though? That's one of my favorites on here. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Doduo. We got to be coming up on that uh, hollow soon. Because each pack, every pack had a hollow because it was heavy packs. Do Duo, we got the seven. That's fine. Luckily, it's just the Do Duo. All the Do, -Do, -Do Duo fans, don't be mad. Is this the hollow, though? Is this the hollow? This one actually doesn't look bad. 
How come this one doesn't have a ding on it? Wait, maybe this was from a different pack or this one didn't get hit with the ding? Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I don't know. Fire energy. Maybe it was from a different pack and it just got mixed in here. Ooh, first nine. First nine. Okay. Okay, maybe that was from a different pack. I don't know. All right, we're going to find out. There's got to be a hollow soon. Maybe it's this one. There's the ding. That's a pretty big ding, but it is on the corner. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, there's some lightning there too. Maybe this is the hollow. Maybe that was, that's the hollow. Oh, this is a five. Okay, this one's definitely not going to be a nine. This is probably going to be like a seven or six. A seven, okay. I think that other fire energy got mixed in. That was probably from the other pack. That was fine. This has to be the hollow. This has to be the hollow. All right, this is first edition base set, Shadowless. This is like the rarest top tier for base set. Come on. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> this is a cough. I'm getting ready for a hollow, and we got my boy coughing. Coughing in eight. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not kidding. This has to be the hollow. It's impossible for this not to be the hollow. Okay, ready? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. It's not the hollow. Where'd the hollows go? Where are the hollows? A seven. I'm getting up and walking away if this isn't the hollow at this point. Oh, that one looks bad. Don't tell. Actually, I don't want that to be the hollow. That one's super hit. Okay. I don't want this to be the hollow. Oh, it's the hollow. Why is it the worst one? Oh, I, oh my God. The front. Guys, I'm telling you the front. Look at this. There's no, there's no print lines. The centering is amazing. But why? This is like, this would have been a perfect... 10 card in my opinion if it didn't get hit on the corner that's so sad but that's it's fine because like look at that that is so clean that is so clean it's not even funny that hurts but all right we're hoping for an eight at worst case scenario and these are thin stamp but you can see the difference first edition stamp look at the one and then look at the one over there that's a thick stamp see the ones thicker are we ready in three two one and a half one. Oh, the seven okay not quite an eight but honestly it did better than i thought it was gonna do because when i sent these i thought they were all gonna be six at best i'm not crying you're crying i'm not crying you're crying that has to be the biggest upset in pokemon card history like i just got it i just got to like that is perfect on the front you cannot say that that is not perfect that is literally perfect oh my god that is so that is just that hurts that hurts that is actually probably the biggest upset we've ever had on the channel, I feel like. That actually, like, physically stings. Okay, shake it off, and let's keep going, because there's still two more packs in here, and I know at least one of these packs was good. Like, there wasn't corner dings. Is this the pack? Uh, not there yet. Okay. We got a double colorless energy. Pull in the eight. That's fine. I'm good with eights. I'm good with eights. If they have the corner ding, that's probably as best as we can do. With something like that, that's probably the best we can do. Growlithe! Growlithe! Oh, get the eight on that. I love Growlithe and Arcanine. All right, come on. We're still moving. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, Yeah, we're not there. It must be the last pack on there. And that's exactly how it happened. I opened one pack. Oh, War Turtle White. You got the ding too. That's another one of my favorites. Oh, War Turtle, my boy. Okay, let's just get the eight then. All right, we'll take the eight, War Turtle. You're good. But yeah, that's the order that we opened them on the channel as well. First one, the, the pack was messed up. Second one, had the, the the card corners were messed up. But the third pack was the charm, and we actually didn't have a corner dings on it. I do have more packs. I do have more of them. Should we open another one on the channel? Let me know. I'm nervous to do it. Okay, here we go. Onyx. Onyx. Here we go. Ready? Come on, Onyx. Come on, Onyx. Eight. That's fine. Again, I'll take the eights. Can we get a hollow that, that, okay, that's an eight, maybe. Let's see, is this a hollow? Ooh, that corner got really hit. What are you, what are you? Fine, you're an energy. Eight, still got the eight. I'm all right with that, I'm all right with that. Okay, still another, ooh, 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 that one's not good either. Okay, let's see, there's like a chunk missing. Mm, my boy Coffin keeps trolling us right now. And it's an eight. <sighs> there has to be a hollow, it has to be this one or the next one. It has to be this one or the next one, I feel like. Next one, come on, come on, what's it gonna be? Remember the second pack that had a messed up hollow? What was it? Not Magnemite. Okay. Eight on the Magnemite. That's cool. Fully went into this expecting sixes. Eights, I'm happy with. I was not, I did not expect eights on these, but I guess I never had something like this happen, to be honest with you guys. I've, I've had creases where it brings it to a six, but not a corner ding, which is different, apparently, and that's amazing to me. Psychic energy. It's got to be after this one. Eight. Here we go. The fiery card has to be here, and it's the one that I thought... Is it this one? I think, oh, that's actually not bad. 
Wait. Is that it? Dude, this is it? If this is it, it's not bad. That's the best one. Please tell me that you're hollow. Please tell me you're hollow right now. Because if that's a hollow, that could potentially be a nine. Be a hollow. Be a hollow. You're a hollow. Ah! Pidgey! This could be from the pack that did not have the corner ding, probably. Let's see. Let's see if we get the nine. It might be. It might be an eight. It's pretty off. Oh, we got a nine on the Pidgey. Okay. All right, Pidgey. Oh, okay. This is confusing because PSA mixes these up a little bit. Oh my god, don't tell me that's the hollow. Don't tell me that's the hollow. It's Abra! Where's the hollows? Where's the other hollows? Abra with the corner ding. Pull in a seven because that was a bad corner ding. You guys saw that. Thing one. is, the pack could have just fell on the ground or something. A couple of the packs have just hit the ground at the same time and that did it. Like, oh my god. Dude, please. Oh, there it is! This is it! Okay, this is our moment for the second pack. It's the Hollow Ninetales, and as I pulled this card, I saw this right here. My heart dropped down into my stomach, okay? And I thought for a second it was the Charizard. Obviously, Ninetales is cool, but you can't help but think it was the Charizard. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. The Ninetales Hollow First Edition base set. This is one where we got the corner ding, so I think it's an 8 at best. But this one wasn't as perfect on the front as the Alakazam. That, the Alakazam is the biggest upset in, in history, I feel like. This one's off, so that one could be a nine just based on the centering, and maybe there's a, like a hollow, or like, like a scratch or something, possibly. I don't know, but yeah, this is not as big of an upset unless it unless it's like a five or something or a six, then I'll actually be more set. We'll see. Ooh, the seven. Okay, yeah. I mean, I get it. I get it. Could have been an easy nine. That's okay. I mean, this is cool though. First edition base set. I didn't even get open these up as a kid. When I was opening stuff as, as a kid, it was sometimes shadowless. And mostly based on limited. I didn't know the difference between shadows and base on limited when I was a kid until I was an adult, obviously. But yeah, that's pretty cool, though. But this is where things change for us, I feel like. There probably were a couple cards that were thrown in here that were from this pack. But this is the third, the third pack that we opened up. The one where everything was okay. I didn't see any corner dings. Maybe there was one. I didn't see. I don't think there were any. So this is our best shot right now at 9s and 10s. All right. Let's see if we can get a 10. All right, all right, all right. Um, yeah, it doesn't really have it. Maybe like a tiny dot. Maybe like a tiny dot on that one. Nowhere near as bad. Let's see. Double colorless. You gotta give me a nine on this at least. Yes! Mid nine. Come on, come on, come on. All right. All right, we're working our way up to the last card, which should be the hollow. The one that did not have a corner ding. And yes, we're back. These are pretty good. Uh, like you can barely even see it. This actually ha might be 10 back. Maybe 10 front. This might be our first 10. I'm just going to go with a 9, but I think it might be a 10. Oh, it is a 10! It's the first 10 out of here! Oh, thank you! Oh, my God! We actually got a 10. That's huge. Wow. This is a shot. Okay. All right. Come on. This is our shot to start pulling 10s now. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Maybe. Maybe a 10 back. Maybe a 10 back. Oh, my God. I will be so happy if you are 10. I will be so happy, but you are off left to right a bit. Could still make it. Probably a 9, but it might be a 10. I, probably a 9, though. Ah! <laughs> Yo, that's one of the best ones we got today. No shot. We're coming back, baby. Oh, dude. Wow. I think that that barely made it, dude. Actually, it's not too bad. It's not bad at all, dude. That's huge. This is okay. Oh man, do we have a shot at a ten on the hollow? I don't. I don't know. I can't remember. But look at this. Our best ten on our first edition base of cards, the Charmeleon. It gives me so much more hope for the rest of these. That's huge. I was not expecting that to get a ten. I thought that was gonna be the nine. All right. All right. All right. This one's not bad on the back either. The Voltorb. I think it's got a shot at a ten easily. Boom. The gem test, dude. Oh, man, that just makes me sad for the other packs, though. But we can't think about that. We just got to keep moving forward. Even though the last pack, if they didn't have those corner dings, we probably had so many more tens. But whatever. It is what it is. That's the risk we take here. All right. Next one. Come on. Be a big card. New chop. All right. Technically can lift a lot here. Ooh, the nine. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. What else? Probably some energies left. I don't know what commons. Give me a Bulbasaur or something, please. Oh, okay. That's the correct energy. A nine? I don't remember. Did we get any Squirtle, any Bulbasaur, Charmander? Give me one of those in here. Give me one of those, because then I know those have a shot at a 10. Poliwag? Fine. Give me a 10. Oh, nine. What, what? Three nines in a row now. This is the craziest roller coaster ever. All right. 
Too many emotions for this. Pretty decent. Pretty good on the back, honestly. Way better than the, the Ding Corner ones. Nidoran? Yeah, it's Nidoran. I'll take a 10, though. Okay. Okay, fine. Can't complain. The Charmeleon got a 10. All right. Next card. Second to last before we have the Hollow. Whatever it is. I remember what it is. Okay. My boy. I'm sorry. You're not a 10, though. You're a 9. The moment that we've all been waiting for. This should be a Hollow first edition base set card. That did not have the corner ding, and it does not. Okay, it's clean. Oh. Spoke too soon. Oh, that's on the card, I think. Yeah, it is. That m probably eh, might hold it back. Maybe so maybe by some sort of Pokemon miracle. Let's see. Okay, back's pretty good, though. It should be what I think it is. It's the Alakazam. Oh, my God. Dude, that one's pretty good, though. Oh, it's not as good as the other Alakazam. It's not as good as the other Alakazam. It looks good, but the top to bottom is not as good. If you look at the other one, you can tell the top to bottom is off a little bit. Left to right's off a tiny bit. I think we have a shot at a 9. But I also think it might be an 8. But I also think there's a tiny, tiny, like, 15% chance that it's a 10. I think it's a 9. I think it's a 9. Are we ready to reveal our final grade? Alakazam, first edition base set. Let me know if we should open up another heavy pack. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, nine. That's actually pretty good. Yo, that's actually solid. I'll take that. On the final card, we actually hit a nine hollow because it doesn't have that corner ding. It's not perfect, but man, it was kind of, it almost had a slight shot at a 10, I feel like. We'll take it. Again, guys, let me know what you thought about that down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like button on your way out. If you want some more content, Click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you on the next one.